What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another New York Giants video. And in this video, I'm going to discuss multiple topics. The Giants are continuing to make roster moves. Before I get into them, folks, make sure to go follow us on all of our social media platforms on Big Blue Avenue. There's our Instagram and Twitter handle below and our YouTube channel at Big Blue Avenue. Really appreciate all the support we've got. And we're going to continue to keep you up to date with the latest on the New York Giants come this offseason. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting few days to see what happens leading up to free agency. And some interesting news coming out today. The Giants released punter Riley Dixon, saving $2.8 million in cap space. So Dixon was cut due to salary cap space issues, a player who would have accounted for $3.1 million against the cap in 2022. And back on December 21st, remember before that week 16 game, the Giants restructured Dixon's contract to create cap space back on December 21st. Again, poorest job by Dave Gettleman last offseason altogether with the cap. Some people like myself are going to miss Riley Dixon on this roster, and I'll explain why. But first, let's get into the statistics that Dixon put out over his time here with Big Blue. So in 2020, it wasn't very good for him. He set a career low in net, 39.4 yards per punt average, not good. And he also set a career low for himself in 2021 on yards per punt. So a 44.4 yard average on 74 punts. And he punted a lot more this past season due to the incompetence of the Giants offense. But this is a guy who played his last four seasons in New York, 65 total games after spending his first two seasons with the Denver Broncos, and fun fact, after the Giants said they were done with Nate Solder, Riley Dixon then became the third longest tenured player on the Giants roster. I remember the trade for him back in 2018. I was excited because the Giants needed a better punter, and they got one. They did give up a conditional seventh-round pick, though, for Riley Dixon. This was one of Dave Gettleman's first moves as the general manager of this team. Then on December 8th, 2019, Dixon was given a three-year contract extension worth for a total of over $8 million. In six NFL seasons, Dixon has averaged over 45 yards on average per punt with a 41.1 yard net. And now some fun facts about Riley Dixon that you may not know. In 2019, it was his best year of his career, 46.1 yards per punt, only two touchbacks the entire season. A lot of people were complaining about touchbacks. His touchback numbers weren't as bad as a lot of people made them out to be. Uh, and he had 29 punts down inside the 20 that year. The last two years, his numbers got progressively worse. They dipped a little bit. 2020, six touchbacks. 2021, six touchbacks and only 24 punts down inside the 20. But throughout his time in Big Blue, he placed over 100 punts inside the 20 yard line the exact number is 101 so if you do the math you're averaging around 24 and a half to 25 punts per season down inside the 20 yard line he also holds the giants franchise record for single season net punting averages since it became a stat back in 1976 he set the franchise record in 2018 and broke it in 2019 averaging 42 yards per punt and also yes he is former teammates with Casey Kreider in Denver as well. This guy was linked to Casey Kreider, and that's part of the reason why the Giants went out and got Casey Kreider after Zach Diossi retired, because they wanted to link him up with Riley Dixon. Dixon is a player who is 28 years old, will be 29 in August. Now, what does this mean for Casey Kreider? Because he is the long snapper. He's not under contract heading into next season, and long snapper is a very important position. And I think it's going to be interesting because this is one of the two to three players I think the Giants should re-sign from last year's team. I think they should re-sign Austin Johnson. I don't know if they will. Casey Kreider is the other player that I definitely want Big Blue to re-sign. I thought he did a really good job long snapping. And, you know, one thing about Riley Dixon, you complain all you want about the poor net hang time, but he was perfect when it came to holds on field goals. That's something that's not easily replaceable within a punter, um, especially a young punter, because Dixon is still very young. He came to Big Blue at a very young age. But the writing was on the wall for Dixon. I mean, even I knew it. The Giants signed punter Jamie Gillen, 
a little over a month ago. And I don't know if they're going to try to work Kreider with him or what they're going to do at the punter position, but it'll be very interesting to see what happens with Casey Kreider. Um, I don't know if Jamie Gillen's going to be the next Giants punter or not. I think there's going to be a second body brought in for some competition in the offseason. Jamie Gillen had a net average of 40 yards per punt in his previous three seasons with the Cleveland Browns. He's nicknamed the Scottish Hammer. Graham Gano, also a Scottish player, so a little fun fact there. And, you know, one thing I do want to say about Dixon before I jump into the next topic, Dixon was my favorite player on this Giants roster. I took a liking towards him the minute he came. You know, he's a local upstate New York guy from the Syracuse area, and he did his job. I thought he did his job. Unfortunately, the last two years, his numbers declined a little bit, and it was just a bad contract for a punter, especially with the situation the Giants were in. I view this cut as more of a salary cap cut with a new regime coming in rather than the performance based off of Dixon. And personally, I don't think we'd be talking about Dixon as much if we weren't in this terrible cap situation. So best of luck to big red Riley Dixon. I know Hank and Dictor, Sam Cardona, and I love to call him that the, uh, the bubblegum brand, big red on our New York giants videos. And now with that being said, the giants have saved some more cap money. That, Total is up to nearly $10 million, $9.925 million. That is the current number in total cap savings. That is nowhere near the $40 million that Joe Shane wants to save. But it'll be interesting to see what else the Giants could do in the coming days. And there is more money going towards that. Giants retaining wide receiver Sterling Shepard on a rework deal, taking a pay cut. We're unclear of the specifics at this time. So the number should be well north of $10 million cleared after we find out the specifics as Sterling Shepard tore his Achilles in December. And now he's returning for his seventh year in big blue. I think it's good for Shepard to come back for at least one more season because his value hitting the open market really wouldn't be great. Three months coming off a torn Achilles. Plus if the rework deal saves more than I believe four, four and a half million dollars. You'd be saving more money by reworking him than releasing him. It was a similar situation last year with Nate Solder. Uh, Shepard was originally due to make $8 million in base salary this season, folks. And he counted for $12 million against the cap. This one year rework deal will make Shepard a free agent in 2023. A player who played just seven games last season, at 36 catches for over 350 yards and just one touchdown. So Riley Dixon released Sterling Shepard rework deal. Those are the big two topics for tonight, folks. Remember to check out our sponsor, BetUS. There's the promo code below. Join one, two, five. Our uh, new partnership, America's favorite sports book, BetUS serves customers for 25 plus years where you can bet on all of your favorite sports and earn a 125% sign-up bonus up to $2,500 where you can bet on the go anytime, anywhere on your mobile device and get quick and fast payouts along with live betting as well, a cool feature, and get the best lines out there. That's BetUS, where the game begins. Folks, looking forward to talking more about the Giants roster transactions and moves within the coming days. But without further ado, let's go Big Blue. <laughs> 